Hi guys, welcome to Sosopol, a little town along the Black Sea coast of Bulgaria. A little change of scenery after being in the mountains from Bulgaria about two weeks now. I thought it's time to explore some beaches. So that's what we're going to do today. First I will give you a tour of the old town, which is right there. It's like a peninsula. We will explore some beaches. Then we will go into the new town, explore some more beaches. Uh, I probably will change my outfit, go get my swimming clothes and everything so I can jump in the water. Then we will continue along the coast, uh, probably meet a German lady. And yeah, join me for this adventure at the Black Sea in Bulgaria. At the tip of the peninsula of the old town you can see the Saint Apostles Monastery, a medieval monastery. And these are the, yeah, what's left of it. They rebuilt it partially. You can still see some pillars there, but uh, yeah, there's really not much information about it. There's no sign or anything here, so not much to say about it. But uh, yeah, now we're heading into the old town, which is right there. Basically the whole peninsula, if you look on the map, the whole peninsula is the old town. And that's what we're going to explore. So now keep in mind, the official tourist season hasn't started yet. That's why it's so quiet, quiet here, because what I heard, Usually it's quite busy in the old town and on the beaches as well. You can clearly see that uh, it's not so crowded yet, which I absolutely love. It's now uh, the 2nd of June. Yeah, the 2nd of June now. So yeah, I think this tourist season starts maybe in two weeks or something. It's slowly starting. You can see people are still building and renovating their stuff, preparing everything for the tourist season. So yeah. I had a delicious dinner here last night, doctor's house. Hi. How are you? Good, and you? Good, fine. Just yeah. Hot today. Yeah, it's very hot. Um, I'm happy to be in the shade a bit. Yeah, I'm. I'm happy to stay here because uh, on the sun it's crazy. Yeah. My house is gonna fall down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's open already, yeah? Yeah, yeah, everything's yeah. alright. Well, I'm not going to eat anything now, but uh, I'm making a video of yeah, the sure, sure, Osozopol. Sure. Do it, do it. Do it. Do okay, it. Yeah. see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. So if you're looking for a good restaurant, Doctor's House, absolutely recommend it. And right next to Doctor's House, there's an archaeological site. Um, well, it's not that much, it's just like the northern tower that is partially rebuilt. Let's have a look. This used to be an entrance to the harbor. Water looks really tempting to jump in because I'm sweating all over the place. Oh. Oh, this come another. Hello, do you want to try wine? Yeah, maybe. Sweet or dry? Um, dry. White, yeah. red, rosé? Uh, white. I'm making a video, is that okay? No problem. <laughs> it's promotion. It's free. Oh, Thank it's you. Free, here, mate. free wine tasting, no? wine and rakia. I'm from Belgium. What are you doing here? I'm not a... Uh, you're surprised that I'm here? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's very beautiful here. Yeah, it's nice. The whole city is here. Thank you. How to say santé? Uh, santé or uh, gezondheid also. <laughs> yeah, you can choose. I have white red rosé. This is Sauvignon Blanc local. The vintage is 2021. And it's uh, from around here or where do you, where do they grow it? They live here in the Black Sea. One At the Black winery. Sea? Yeah. Yeah, this is Vermentino. This is Italian white grape, but this is near to Pomori, you know? Pomori? Ah, Pomori is not so far, right? Yeah. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, what is it, GoPro? Mm -hmm. And make the good video? Yeah, but I added um, the microphone because yeah. the audio is not so good otherwise. Yeah. Do you want to try this? That's another one? And I have fig wine. Fig wine? Oh, I never tried that. Wait a second. Yeah, no problem. Fig wine. 
Era secundă ce am client. Clienti mă. I think I like the the previous one was better. The first, yeah. The first one, yeah. And thank you for Rosé. Rosé? Well, yeah, why not? It's never too early for a bit of wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where is the uh, quality? Hmm? Where is Sorry? the location? Here. My location? Or... Oh, a vacation. Ah, my vacation, yeah. I'm in Bulgaria, but um, uh, you go I will, to... I will uh, I'm driving around. I have my own car here, and I'm driving like one month doing a road trip. Wow. And how is the road? Rubbish? <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to be careful sometimes. <laughs> yeah. How is the drivers? The drive? Well, I'm used to driving in Brussels and it's also bad yeah, there. So. In the Brussels, maybe the same shit, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's the same too shit. Too more traffic. <laughs> yeah? It's very busy. Yeah, here, not too much traffic. No, here it's okay. Just the potholes in the road, you yeah. need to be careful. Yeah. This is all, only the biggest problem. Yeah, I've been in uh, Bansko. Well, Sofia first, Bansko, yeah. and then I came here. Where is uh, your better? Uh, Which city? I like it? it here, I like it here a lot. Yeah. yeah. I've been when here only two to days. Beach but... to swimming. Uh, I went yesterday to the central central beach. I and think. how it is? Nice, nice. Yeah. It you was not try? Uh, you you drink it, yeah? No, no, I'm not driving now, so yeah. I can drink. <laughs> you wanna try a traditional Bulgarian drink? Yeah. Rakia, 40 degrees. Uh, <laughs> but it's very, very good. <laughs> I tried it I not in Bulgaria, but I tried it in other countries already. Five years old. Mm. Wine grape muscat. It's 40 degrees. Damn. Try this. <laughs> Cheers. Thank okay. you. And you're not drinking? No, oh, work not drinking. Only night. Ah, but if you would, night. you cannot taste yeah, all the time. Come on, I smell for the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and I have wine in Sozopo, wine with fig. Wine with fig? Yeah, it's, we say... What's the name here? Because I will show it on my video. The bottle shop. The bottle shop. So uh, if you're in Sozopo, come to the bottle shop. <laughs> I'm Tim Hunger, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm Tim. Tim? Uh, the same. <laughs> And Tihomir. Cool. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, it's different than the wine. We, uh, we, we eat Ooh. salad and rakia. This is tradition. What's salad and rakia? Shopska salad. Shopska salad. Shopska salad. Yeah, good. That's this one? Shop? No, no, this is fig. How you, how you this is smokino vino. It's fig wine. Ah, fig, fig wine. Okay. Vino is uh, wine. Yeah, yeah, smokino yeah. Vino is yeah. fig. Okay, okay. And uh, what? How much is a bottle of pig wine? Twenty eleven. Do you want to try? It's sweet. I, I will know. try, but I cannot take it right now because no uh, but I want, want to maybe come back for because I'm, not, I'm no staying in the new town, but I can come back. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah. I tried some sweet wine in uh, Kova Shivice or Shivice. You know it, the mountain village. They had some homemade uh, raspberry wine there. And how is the raspberry? It was good actually. Yeah. I bought a bottle. Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah. You don't like it? Only rakia. <laughs> <laughs> but you cannot drink rakia all day, eh? <laughs> yeah, only night, my friend. 50 grams. What? 50 what? 50 grams. 50 grams of rakia? Yeah, only. Every day? No. To keep the doctor I'm away. Going to sport running, gym. Yeah, yeah. But now I have a little bit problem Ooh. with my healthy. On your knee? Yeah. Vein. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for me too. I have a problem here, yeah, like uh, shin splint. It's yeah. called. Maybe I make the fig wine. I really like, and it's something that you don't this see is something, often. Eh? Yeah, this yeah. is something different. The fig okay. Is different. Yeah, the fig wine. And, and this is rosemary. <laughs> Rostena. Well, I, I maybe one more, and then it's, okay, that's enough. Sure. <laughs> because I I just started my tour here of the village, you know. So I need to yeah, yeah, this is make a good video. <laughs> This is raspberry and merlot. Mm, the fig wine is better. But this raspberry is different than the one that I tried. You prefer fig wine? No, fig is good. This is vocal here in Suzuki. And the rakia is good. And the white. The you most... make it rakia? No. Oh. Only drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most important. <laughs> I have too much of. Can I, where I leave it? Here. Here? Okay. Well, thank you very much. I'm uh, um, in total now already or in total? In total. In total, five weeks. And how is it Bulgaria good? I like it. How is the people friendly? Yeah, I didn't meet so much people yet, but like you, you're very friendly. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I'm going to continue my tour. 
Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you. So, you know, guys, the bottle, wait, let me show you. The bottle here. Come buy your wine here. Fig wine. I will go come and get a bottle. See you. All the best. Bye. This is like a typical house of the old town, wood, but mostly on the on the bottom floor it's uh, stone or bricks, well, old kind of bricks, and the top is wood. But here this one is completely in wood. Damn, this wine and rakias, it's not that early, but in the sun uh, it hits hard. <laughs> and I just started the tour. We're off to a good start. So yeah, here, this is a typical traditional Bulgarian Sotopol house, I would say. You see, bricks on the on the bottom, wood on the top. And there's even one for sale. Maybe later I will show you. Uh, maybe later I will show you some prices of um, houses here because I saw a place where they have some signs, and you would be surprised of the prices. In a good way. Here they're selling honey, I guess. I'm not going to buy anything right now because uh, I don't have anything to carry it, so it's a bit annoying. Another wine shop here. So I would suggest when you come to the old town, just wander around a bit. There's not really a place that you need to go to. Just walk around in the small alleys and you always find something interesting, some beautiful spots. Good to take some uh, Instagram shots. Look, this building here is also beautiful. This is pretty old actually. Looks pretty old. Oh, and there used to be a statue here of Apollo, which is the god of art. And that's why you will see a lot of art galleries. There's even an art festival here yearly. So as you can see here, art gallery. I saw a few already. Oh, and lots of cats. I saw lots of cats already. Maybe you can hear it behind me, but there are lots of cats here. Not sure if they belong to someone or they're just street cats. No idea. Now we're heading to the marina of Sozopol. I passed there last night, didn't see much, but maybe today there will be more stuff to see. Let's check it out. Now I guess most of these are fishing boats, but there in the back there are some tour boats, so you can also book tours here and uh, go around some different cities, well villages probably, and uh, explore some maybe caves and rock formations and all these things. So this is probably the biggest boat that is here. Oh, it smells really bad like fish here. Not my favorite smell to be honest. <laughs> when it's grilled, yeah, but uh, otherwise, nah. Dobrý den. Dobrý den.
Yeah, so these are the tour boats, I guess. Here and here. Also party boats or something, I read. Maybe this one as well. leaving the harbor behind and getting into the main square of Solopol and there's a market going on as well Hello. seems like not everything is open Look what we have here, an ancient boat or a replica, it looks very impressive, a bit like a viking boat, but I guess it's not from the vikings, too bad I cannot go closer, not sure what the sign says here but I bet it's not allowed. Probably an ancient, an ancient fishing boat. Wait, there's a sign here. Let's have a look. A wooden vessel of the 18th century. Industrial fishing was carried out along the Bulgarian black coast from Stranza Oak. Stranza is a national park just close by here. 12 meter to 2 meter. Captain, coxswain and 8 rowers. Damn, impressive. So that, that is pretty much the main square of Sozopol. And now, if we go that way, we're heading to the beach, the central beach of Sozopol. So that's what I'm going to show next. As you can see, the beaches are almost empty and the weather is perfect. So if you want to come, if you want to come to Sozopol, I guess beginning of June is the perfect timing because you have the beach all to yourself, the old town all to yourself and the weather is great. The water temperature is also all right. I went, I went swimming yesterday and once you go deeper, it's a bit colder, but it's pretty good actually. I mean, I, it's pretty okay. So yeah beginning of June and right after you leave the beach from Sozopol I think it's called the central beach you arrive in a new town so that's what we're checking out right now as I mentioned before I will show you some real estate here in the surrounding areas like for example here 48,000 euro with a swimming pool beautiful apartment brand new let's find a cheaper one here 25,000 euro New complex, 500 meters from the beach, 32 square meters. Damn, this is really a good price. And then a more expensive one. This one probably, a complete two-story house in a holiday village, three kilometers from the coast in the Stranza Mountains. Damn, that's really a good price. So if you're looking for um, affordable living, if you're looking for affordable living, I guess uh, Sozopol definitely is the spot. Not sure what to do here in the winter time, but I guess from May until November, no, October maybe, it's very nice to live here. So like a second home would be great here.
And something you see all over the place here in Sozopol are these coffee machines. You see them everywhere. Never, didn't try them yet, but uh, maybe I will. 60 cents for an espresso, coffee with cream, 70 cents. Pretty good price. Hi. Hello. <laughs> People are surprised when they see me walking with a camera, talking to myself. All right, it's time to go to my studio. I will get my swimming clothes on uh, because we are going to explore some beaches right now. And uh, I will give you a quick room tour. Well, actually I recorded that previously already, but uh, I will show you right now. So uh, enjoy and see you in five. All right, let me give you a quick room tour of my studio here in Sozopol at the Black Sea in Bulgaria. Let me show you. So. This is the bed here, a terrace, but it's a bit strange because, let me show you, the street is up there, that's the street, this is my terrace. So it's a bit weird, I'm in the basement kind of, but on the other side it's not basement, so it's like half basement. Uh, and this is the kitchen, the kitchen here, microwave, fridge, some space here. Uh, and then the bathroom, I didn't check yet, so the bathroom, oh yeah, it's a shower like this, <laughs> oh, we didn't know this, okay, well there is a shower at least, but let me show you, there is a seaside, but I don't know if I'm allowed to go there, let me show you, if I open the camp in the door at least, so this is the hallway and there is the entrance door, but on the other side is the beach, well, it's not a beach, it's the sea. This door is locked. I don't know if I have a key for this. Nope. So, no beach access for me. <laughs> I pay uh, 22 euro per night for this place. So, I don't really care about the beach front or not. But the most important thing is that I'm really close to the beach. I think in five minutes walking I'm at a real sun beach, which can be nice. I will stay here for five days. All right, just like that, I changed my outfit, ready to go hit some beaches. Let's go and meet that German lady or see that German lady. Hopefully I can find her. Alright, here we are at the beach of the new town of Sozopol. I think it's called Hermanite Beach or something. I might go get put my feet in the water because it's pretty hot outside. Damn. Much better like this. Some refreshment in the water. Oh. Temperature is actually quite okay from the water. You wouldn't expect this in the beginning of June. Later I will jump in, but first I need a drink because uh, it's very thirsty weather. And with this dry air here, I really need a drink. I, I guess I will find one at the next beach. See, this is seating area, paid seating area, eight level for a day, I guess. But it's pretty much completely empty. Probably in two weeks, maybe one month, it will be really crowded here, like completely full. And as usual, I find the nudist section again. If you go all the way in the end of the beach, 
in the corner there's a nudist section so I'm not going to go there Okay, on to the next beach. There's a small section behind the rocks there from the same beach, I think. Not sure. And once, a long time ago, the name of Sozopo was Sozopolis, which you can see right there. This, that little uh, peninsula there, I guess it's a holiday home or a holiday village. It's called Sozopolis right now. So I've been walking along the coastline for about 15 minutes right now, and I found another spot maybe i can have a swim here but i prefer to have a drink first because i didn't bring a towel and otherwise i will be all wet in the restaurant or in the bar but let me check this out it looks promising look there let's have a look down there Looks like they're still preparing for the tourist season. Oh yeah, it doesn't seem ready yet. But quite idyllic, if it would be cleaned up here. like a small bay area but it doesn't look open yet so onwards we go if you would like to come here this is the name of the place not going to try to pronounce it Rausku well, no, I'm not going to try. But if you're from Bulgaria, you can probably read this easily. So that's the place. Onwards we go. So the area where I'm walking through right now is actually the Budzaka region. And you can clearly see it's more like a residential area with a lot of green around as well. So not as populated as the rest of Sozopol. But now we're heading onwards to Sozopolis. Not sure what we can see there, but we will find out. Yeah, so right in front of us is Sozopolis but apparently it's just a holiday village so I don't think uh, there's a lot to see there um, so yeah just continue the road and uh, find another beach but I think there's another beach because we're actually on a peninsula right now so if I go that direction there should be a beach so I can uh, dip my toes in or a bit more because it's hot damn it's really hot so this is pretty much what Sozopolis is. It's a whole complex of little houses built in traditional style, kind of, right at the, at the coastline. And there are still some houses for sale as well. As you can see here, affordable luxury property for sale. Not sure what the prices are, but I wouldn't want to live here. Well, it's not to live, of course, it's just holiday home. Uh, hello, sir. Do you speak English? A little. Uh, the German lady, do you know where that is? No. It's on Google Maps here that it says the German lady. Ah, German lady. Where is it? Ah, on this uh, side? On this side. And this way, left, left, right, and down. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. This is the German lady? Oh, there. Ah. <laughs> You must be go down. Uh, all the way down. Ah, okay. You come fishing here? Yeah. Oh, what kind of fish uh, do you do you catch here? Safrit. Safrit, the small yeah. ones, the oh. little ones. Ah, to for yeah. grilling, yeah. for grilling. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. I saw it on the menu already. <laughs> <laughs> I tried uh, trout yesterday from here. Uh -huh. It was good. 
It's uh, down or here or here, here. Ah, here. Okay. And why do they call her the German lady? Do you know? The first uh, lady here is a wolf. The German lady gets here. She died here. Right. Oh, she fell from. She fell down. Oh. Okay, so that's not a not a good history. <laughs> Oh, there are a lot of fishermen here. Oh, yes, I see it. Yeah, there, the sign there. The memory stone. Ah, yes, there, there, there. White. This White one, or there are two. The right one or the left one? Right, right. Right. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we'll have a look. All right, I had no idea that the German lady died here, which is a bit sad because I was kind of making a joke out of it, finding the German lady. I really didn't mean to, but apparently a German woman died here. And it's a very famous fishing spot as well here. I guess this is a German lady. Well, there are two um, memorials here, one, two. This is a recent one. What's her name? Okay, yeah, so apparently a German woman died here and there's another memorial here but I can't read it right there but yeah, I kind of fooled you guys I feel a bit bad about it now because I didn't know, I thought this was just a rock and they called her the German lady because she looked like a lady or something. But apparently somebody really died here. Probably even more than one person. Which is really sad. So yeah. Okay, now for real. I need to find a beach and a drink. Because I'm really dehydrating. I think it's about 30 degrees Celsius. The beach that we're going to is called Cavazite. Or Cavazite. But I think it's Cavazite. Oh damn, that must have been a snake. This is definitely snake territory here. Cavazite. It's about 30 minutes walking from here. So we're not there yet. But there is definitely something with Germans here. Because look, this is all written in German. So I'm not sure, maybe this is like a, a few Germans that bought these houses on this side of the island. I have no idea. But definitely there's a German vibe here. Thank you. Finally some drinks. This is really what I need, but too bad they're not cold. <laughs> That's a bit sad, but okay, better than nothing. And there in the distance we can see Cavazite Beach and behind it we have a national park, which looks also very nice. Yeah, this national park looks very promising also, also worth a visit probably. Uh, I think you can even do a river boat tour, but yeah, that will not be for today. Because obviously, well, it's getting uh, a bit late. Uh, Whoa, look at all this. What the hell is this? It's full of pollen here, or what is this? It's crazy, it's everywhere. Look, it's really everywhere, look here. Damn, what is this? It's from a tree, or from a lot of trees? Wow, so crazy. Look, you see it flying around everywhere. And it lands here, all together, in the same spot. Look. If you have a pollen allergy, I don't think it's a good idea to come here. Well, I, I think these are pollen, 
Not sure actually. And I think we are about to hit the beach, Cavazite. It was hard to find because uh, Google Maps uh, was sending me another direction, but that was private property. Here there's a camping, and right next to the camping is the beach, I think. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Look in the sun. When the sun is shining on it, it looks really strange. Everywhere. Wow. So cool. So yeah, Cavazite Beach. Time for a dip in the water. But it's definitely a different vibe here than uh, in Sosa Paul Center. Old town or new town, it's a complete different vibe here. There's nobody here. Like literally, nothing. There must be somebody. Okay, there is somebody. But almost nobody. It's so quiet here. And this is like a camping. Camping, 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 camping beach. We're definitely at the beach, but similar here, the season didn't start yet. I'm not even sure if this bar is open. Sahara Beach Bar and Restaurant. All the chairs are here, but I don't need a chair. I just need the water. Look how empty this beach is. Damn. Crazy. After two hours in the bright sun, 30 degrees Celsius, walking all over Sosopol, it's definitely time for a swim. Let's go. Let's do it. That feels good. Oh. oh yeah, well deserved. The only downside is I didn't bring a towel. So I hope the sun is bright enough to dry me because I would like to have a drink in that beach bar there. There's one beach bar open right in front of me. That one. And I hope I can get a drink but I don't want to go all wet like that. So I'll wait a bit. What better than a fresh beer after a fresh dip into the sea? Cheers. The sun is setting. We're in the golden hour now. I think it's a perfect time to end the video of today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a tour of Sozopol and the surroundings, well I guess we're still in Sozopol actually, but uh, it was definitely nice for me as well because I didn't explore this beach yet. Uh, it's a bit a weird vibe because a lot of places are still closed. It seems that everybody's in a rush to get ready for the season. I talked to the guys here at the bar and uh, they said they're opening 18 of June, but he said some bars are opening maybe one week earlier but most of them only open like half June, let's say. So if you're coming in the beginning of June, you will have empty beaches, which I like, but maybe if, you like, uh, if you're more social than me, you maybe like some more people, then uh, probably you should come half June or later. So yeah, see you in the next video. When using Google Maps in Bulgaria, I have trust issues for sure. And now Google is sending me to a way like this, which looks like a walking way, but I chose walking. I don't know if I should continue or not. Um, I guess I will, and maybe I will have to return because it's not the first time that I will have to return. <laughs> but one thing I wanted to show you, because 
I know there are a lot of snakes in Bulgaria, especially at the coast. Well, from my experience, last time I was in Bulgaria, I saw snakes at the coast. And look here. So this here are definitely signs of snakes. Look there as well. And you can see here, it continues. So the snake went that way, I would say. Probably it's somewhere here now, chasing a, a frog or something. Because that's what I saw last time when I was in Bulgaria. Not so far from here actually. I saw a snake catching a frog and it was eating it alive. So I guess uh, I need to be careful. <laughs> because I fucking hate snakes. Oh, they creep me out, snakes. Really. Something I really don't like. But I guess I will continue. And we'll see if I make it or not. And we have another snake trace. This is clearly a snake trace. Look. I'm not going to try to find the snake. But... <laughs> Creeps me out. Creeps me out. I see lots of snake trails here. Look, I guess here as well. Look. Snake, 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 snake. Maybe, I don't know what this is. Maybe as well. Damn, unless it's the same snake everywhere, but look. Here, trace, trace, another trace, there, snake trace. Seems like I'm in a snake paradise here. <laughs> Not feeling so comfortable here. What they say you need to do, make some vibrations, because the snakes are scared of that. I hope so. <laughs> I really don't like this. I'm going to walk a bit faster. What is this? No. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah. Look, maybe this is a hole of a snake. Yeah, what is this? That might be from a snake. <laughs> 